I would like to put my next question on Kerala now, sir. So that's really important because, as you said, you know, so we have been noticing the number of applications from Kerala is coming down in regards to UK and been going up when you talk about other European countries like Germany, France. So that's what the trend is coming up. Yeah. What is the exact reason? So is it all married students who used to go to UK? What is the exact problem? So, so if you can emphasize, other than social media, sir, other than social media. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay, I understood. <laughs> Uh, because the actually the Kerala student uh, nowadays, you know, uh, more than fifty percent of the students is looking for the overseas education. Right. But uh, in the in in the stage in 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 the uh, UK condition, you know, as per the UK uh, nowadays, the uh, as I said earlier, the the students is coming. You know, uh, the uh, the number of students is getting low. Yeah. Because they are confused, actually. Right. I already said this was the yeah. that reason. Another thing, the policy changes dearly confused. Yeah. Because I got the answer from your, yeah. you know, you you your side also. Yeah. So is it is it an impact of the wars happening in the entire world? Uh, something or other thing is happening. China, Taiwan, Ukraine, Russia. You know, is is that the impacting and confusing the students in Kerala, or is just the policy change? Yeah, policy changes is the one of the th thing, and another thing um, we will say um, what we have to say. <laughs> yeah, definitely yeah. the policy changes. So there, there is a may, there is a reason to ask that question, you know, because Kerala number has gone down. So I yeah. was sitting with a group of 20, 25 people a uh, couple of weeks before, and then we were discussing. Whenever we meet someone, they talk about their problem. You know, this is the problem. That is the problem. Then we wanted to figure out why a lot of people get into problem, what exactly are the problems. So we started writing it down. This person discussed this problem. This person discussed this problem. This person. We discussed about 25 people problems. And the conclusion was in the entire world, there are only three, four problems. So one is money. Second is health. Third is money, or you can say real estate. And fourth is we all know, not wife, partners. <laughs> so wife has never been a problem here, yeah? so I don't want to take that. Uh, it's a recorded session, and I'm happily married. <laughs> so I think is more the way we think becomes a problem. You know, so sir, that's what I need to understand, because if we look, there is no problem. There is no problem at all. Entire word talks about three, four things. Boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband. Property, brother, money, that's it. There is no other problem or health. And I think which we all yeah. should cover on. Mm -hmm. But other than health is all EO and our mindset. Mm -hmm. So there is no problem, sir. So you need to do more social media campaigns now. And no, no, no. we need to get positive on the things, sir. We just want to overcome these things because yeah. the people, the students from the Kerala, it's uh, you know, really confused. Yeah. Because yeah. they 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 coming to us and they are asking for another country. Yeah. Because the, they cannot stay there yeah. and they are not getting the you know proper Residency. jobs, proper yeah. jobs. Yeah. And uh, even the accommodation yeah. is uh, it was a problem before. Yeah. yeah. And the accommodation cost was you know um, it was big. Yeah. Yeah. These these yeah. things you know no, really will, really will start really really now. took them you know. Yeah. So we'll we'll do a positive things on it from next week. Let's meet online students and let's do webinars for them. Let's get it positive atmosphere credit. And I think they will get the right guidance onto it, sir. So I will work closely for Kerala market on you. Sir. So there, yes. there are other markets uh, like uh, the European markets, uh, Japan, uh, etc. They, they are utilizing this fear of, uh, uh, you know, unstable, uh, no clarity at the moment, uh, waiting for uh, the decision around uh, graduate route. Yeah, so that's absolutely okay, no worries. So uh, when we'll have clarity, when UK will be back, it cannot be competed with. Yeah, yeah. So I will put on next question to Mr. Bhavish from Gujarat. You know, so Gujarat has always been very emerging. The news comes first in Gujarat, then goes on BBC. So that's how I take <laughs> Gujarat, you know. So, so with this, uh, Bhavish sir, with this international recruitment countries and their policies, because you've been in industry for so long and it keeps on changing, considering the policies cha policy changes, what are the emerging market for international students from Gujarat as of now? 
uh, it's all about uh, big investment when it comes to higher education for the students so it's very definitely they think rather to wait for at least uh, six months or something and uh, they should apply their exposure in real world uh, by doing job or something uh, until the things get clear uh, so that is first important point uh, but at the moment, considering the uncertainty in uh, higher education, the trend are set for the US in Gujarat and uh, of course UK, because uh, UK is also uh, the option which is uh, second at the moment in the second uh, rank in Gujarat. Right. Uh, and I believe uh, it will be restored. Uh, because yeah. there is no option other no. than, uh, because uh, if you see other European countries, then also there is no any strong settlement commitment for yeah. the students. Yeah. So ultimately when it comes to, you know, empower yourself with the quality education, I believe UK and US are the two destinations. Two destinations. Yeah. And uh, yeah. that is the part of my council. And, and do you think with the change of policies, what US has come up with, so UK will emerge as a number one destination for the coming intake uh, from Yes, it, it should be. Because like in US, there are two complaints for the students. The one is the uh, appointment window slot yeah. booking for yeah. them. And again, like uh, with the visa process, like uh, with the issue with like I-20 and interview, those top certain students are not getting through with that. Right. So uh, yes, of course. Uh, the other part which I dislike about UK was like they, you know, stop the dependent. Uh, that is the thing I think genuinely not reasonable because yeah. if you see no none of the country say upfront that dependents are not allowed. Yeah. US never told that you cannot bring your dependent. Right. Of course they will conduct interview for the dependent and right. that is up to them whether they should grant visa or not. Right. The same pattern like in Canada also dependent can go if you are going for masters or yeah. something. So there are there are the options because it is sort of thing you are like you know dividing uh, uh, partners yeah and uh, you know you and have to manage right. yeah, yeah long distance or otherwise you have to find other one yes, in that yes. country so <laughs> another trend is uh, started in gujarat uh, what i say uh, when they want to go as a dependent they are trying for the visitor visa yeah yeah and yeah. then they are changing their status in us yeah so that is also another secure trend that is started in gujarat okay now so I think uh, Gujarat looks very promising for this coming yes, intake. Yes. yes. Yeah. So that's that's very yes. great. Namneeji, because uh, so when we started, you were based in Chandigarh, and I've seen the growth of uh, you being in the industry, and you're now in I think Kerala as well, and you've moved to Dubai, Amina, and you've been capturing. So if you look at the overall scenario, because you've been doing so much research, your team is everywhere. So how does the global future looks like from every, across the world? Uh, the the student mobilization to different countries. Uh, uh, Gaurav, I think uh, your point is very apt. If you look at global, mobility was always a reality. Yeah. If you look at our very genesis of growth was mobility. Right. While you were talking in the inset, you said that we are such a global issue. India primarily, as Pavel said, is 95% domestic. But we are still the world's youngest, largest population. Yeah. Our migration scenario, what I have seen is, uh, if you look at from the Indian perspective, you look at the top US universities, look at the top UK universities, mm -hmm. look at the global CEOs. Maybe they are the 70s, 80s and 90s kids who were Satya Nadella's too. Mm -hmm. All these. I think our respect globally has increased. Mm -hmm. And on a very serious note, our kids have a lot more serious questions. Right. When it comes to UK, uh, I mean, just talking from UK perspective, from my state also now, there are serious contenders. Right. Our ex-chief minister is from UK. I mean, he studied in UK all his life. So a lot of serious research which has ended up, it's beyond migration now. Right. right. If you look at the Canadian perspective, yesterday they couldn't give a worse news than that. The three leaks, 65,000 at a rate of 60 percent. Now you imagine when we're talking of UK graduate road confusion, I'm actually surprised why are we talking even. Yeah. If you look at Canadian announcement last week, they said three lakh sixty, and they're saying a success rate of 60 percent. Right. I mean, look at the prime minister, uh, the immigration minister saying that we expect 60 percent. Yeah. So I think uh, the research based, the European countries, as Pavel said, now people come to us and ask for top B schools in Holland, top B schools in everything. I think global mobility will be a reality. If you come to Jalandhar, you see a lot of students in LPU and Chandigarh University coming from Africa. Yeah. So I think global mobility with AI and technology emerging is is the only reality, and I see a blended model. 
Right. As Ash said, uh, undergraduate, PG, but I think it's it's going to be increased to a level which is unimaginable. Yeah. And that is going to be beyond landed immigrant dream. Yeah. That's what I believe. Yeah. And the future is that because yes. the kids growing nowadays, so they, they, they are not looking for... I give my example, yeah. my daughter is going to enter high school this year. I would love to explore the world, but yeah. come back home. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, Tisa, there's a question for you, and which is really important uh, to understand, because you've been in the industry for so long, I think 15, 20 years. I still remember 2008, we used to travel yes. together yeah. uh, to South India. So, what I need to understand, how education consultants can assure security and sustainable growth to the provider they are committed with? It, it, it's like working very close with the universities. Mm -hmm. See, understanding one thing is <coughs> students' mindset is changing every minute or probably every day. Yeah. It, it's, it's very hard for universities or it's very hard for the education agents to contain their mindset. Right. So what we have to do is we have to go according to the understanding of what the country needs. Mm. Suppose you're sending to UK, you're sending to US, you need to understand what, what, what are the requirements there. You need to explain the students very clearly what is there and what is not. Right. So when you tell this, of course, it, it, it's hard telling only the truth and not the uh, lies, yeah. but we have to do that. There's yeah. no other choice with us. Exactly. You have to tell them very clearly, this is what happens and this is what not. Right. Okay, talking about uh, uh, the graduate route or probably because this has become uh, a kind of uh, hot news, Yeah. right? There's nothing which is happening there. It's yeah. just the kind of fake news which is spreading yeah. and fake spreads faster than the truth. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely. It's, a, it's, just, it's, a, it's a simple thing. Yeah. So what we have to do is being an agent, you need to tell them clearly what the views are, how you have to be there, how you have to be with the university. You, you study in the university. Right. You're going for a two-year two -year course, study in the university for two years. You're going out for a three-year program, study in the university. You have a lot of opportunities there. Yeah. You have See, first thing is, our students do not explore opportunities. Right. Yeah. They just go to the university or probably they just think going to a country is opting it as a job opportunity. Exactly. No, yeah. not, not as a study or destination. Yeah. So once the mindset of the students changes, it becomes easy for us, it becomes easy for the university, and it also becomes easy for everyone. Yeah. So I, I, what I can understand, providing right knowledge, the initial counseling to the students yes. is the key to sustainability. Yeah? Yes, sir. So very, very right. Really, really important. Right. Because, you know, uh, when we were talking about the emerging trends, so we, we know AI is coming, you know, the technology is coming in place. But I think which is really important with which a lot of uh, consultants are missing is on the training. You know, so we need to build a training module and which can actually train our counselors, our team to that level where they can make the life of a student. So which is, I think, really important. If we start working on that, 100%. Gauriji, one thing yeah. added to this, human touch is very important. Yeah. True. Now, you have n number of Google uh, scenarios coming in, yeah. but unless and until the yeah. parents or probably the students coming and talking to an agent, right. understanding what what it is yeah. from your mouth, now that's right. very important. 100%. Okay, see there there are still students and parents coming, sitting for one hour, two yeah. hours, yeah. understanding what the scenarios are. Yeah. So you can, once you explore that, yeah. it's, it's very easy. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely bang on to the question, sir. Uh, sir, Another question I would like to, uh, from you, sir. No, from you, sir. What do you think, so it's not about Kerala, is I'm talking about the global recruitment industry and you've been serving the industry for so long and I've seen the professional approach towards students, what you have, uh, and especially in Kerala, is a different mindset, is a different approach and is a very clear and transparent things being counseled to the students. So what challenges you face, you know, when a student walks in or comes in throughout the journey and how, how do you want universities or the education providers to support an agency or a consultant on that challenges? Actually, uh, regarding one student, you know, even if uh, he's the son of an IAS officer, yeah. His hero is his friend. Yeah. Actually, they they will not believe his father. Okay, they will 
the, he is believing his uh, you know his Absolutely. friend yeah okay so if he want to go for a tuition yeah. okay then he will say my friend is gone there mm. okay mm. i like to follow him mm. Mm. if he want to go for some course yeah. okay then he will say i want to go for that course because of my friend yeah. okay mm. so this this has to be changed you know mm. Mm. because their their circle is around their friend you know yeah okay so they are coming to us and they are asking for the uh, like you know mm. the courses mm. one which they uh, their neighbor took or uh, yeah. their friend took yeah. okay so this has to be changed yeah. okay Absolutely. we will give a you know we have to guide them to in a better way yeah no i agree so that's how multi level marketing has ruled the world once upon a time you know so keep following keep following so absolutely sir because and there comes the right knowledge in place right so with this uh, i would like to thank all of you here uh, and if you can please take your seats can we have a big round of applause for them and stephanie and pavel if you can just be here with me for another 2 3 minutes sure. so please thank you very much